Wow, a good movie based off a of manga. I guess Edge of Tomorrow is not the only one. Hey everyone, welcome to the review. Here's my review for the movie Alita Battle Angel. Yes, Alita Battle Angel stars Rosa Salazar, Isa uh, Gonzalez, Christoph Waltz, Jennifer Connelly, and Mahershala Ali. And this movie is written, written by James Cameron and directed by Robert Rodriguez. Yes, Robert Rodriguez hasn't done a great movie in a while, so about time. And this is a movie that's based off of the manga that I have not read. I don't really know much about. Yes, an anime fan that doesn't really know much about Alita, so I apologize. But basically, the gist of this movie takes place in the 26th century and stuff. And uh, it's like 25, 38, or I don't know the exact date and shit like that, but... Basically, there's, like, this high colony and this low co colony, which is, like, high class and low class and stuff. And then, like, cyborgs are, like, a big thing and stuff in this futuristic world, this post-apocalyptic-ish kind of world. And Christoph Waltz in this movie plays this, uh, doctor named Dr. Ito, I think his name is. And basically, he finds, uh, a machine, basically, that's Alita, and he rebuilds her and... Basically, basically, like, you know, teaches her the ways of people and stuff, and she was built, like, 300 years ago, but she has no memories and stuff, and she has a new body that was made by Crystal Waltz's character, and she basically explores this world she knows nothing about and stuff, and learns human interactions, robot interactions and stuff, and learns about all these cool little games and stuff, and she also learns what her path is in life, and why she was built, and why she was made the way she is, and why a certain company, the people up in the big city and stuff want her and want her dead and shit like that. And yeah, it's a sci-fi, very futuristic sci-fi action movie, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, the world is amazing. It's really cool. It felt like like the fifth element and stuff. It felt like uh, Luke Besson directed this movie. That was my biggest gripes with Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. It looked super cool. Like The visuals were super good. And it was really stylistic, futuristic, and just the whole world. Luc Besson was so great at building worlds, but the thing about Valerian, it didn't have any interesting characters or an interesting story. Lita actually does have pretty good characters and a pretty good story. It's predictable. I knew everything that was going to happen. I knew every death that was going to happen. I knew exactly how this movie was going to end. I knew the pinpoint of how this movie was going to end, and I knew it would try to build for a sequel and stuff, of course. It might, it might make money. Honestly, it's a fun film. I can actually see myself watching a sequel. I can actually see a sequel. Um, biggest positives about this movie is its visuals. It's, it's great visuals. It's not just like great, it's spectacular visual effects. It's amazing. Not just the world, but just the cyborgs and the robots. They look fantastic. Alita herself looks amazing. Like, it looks like you can just, like, touch her skin that's on her face. It just, it looks amazing. If this does not get nominated for visual effects at the Oscars next year, like, something wrong with them. Like, this is amazing effects. Some of the best visual effects I've seen in a film in probably some time. And that's saying a lot, because Avengers Infinity War came out last year. And Ready Player One, two great movies with great visual effects. But this movie, amazing visual effects. And it's just a, it's a fun movie. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's just, it's got a lot of cool action. The action was really well done. Very well choreographed action scenes, even though it's a lot of CGI, but it's really fun to watch, and when she does this, uh, this game, I, I, I forget what it's called already, uh, so they play this game when they're on, like, these power skates and stuff, and they have this ball, and, like, they have to hit each other and shit like that, it's like power ball or whatever the hell they call it, anytime they play that, 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 that shit's awesome, it's super fun, it's like an Ender's game when they play that game in Ender's game, uh, the, the, like, um, that game in Ender's game that, Seems like Blitzball from Final Fantasy X. Yeah, you know, like I love shit like that when they put shit like that in movies. It's fun. It's cool to watch. And uh, Rosa Ro Rosa Salazar, she gives a really great motion capture performance. Like she's almost on the level of Andy Circus. <laughs> not not as good as Andy Circus, but still, she's really good. She was actually gave a genuinely compelling performance, and she was the best character, the most interesting character in the whole movie. She's just great. She's not only cool and bad. And she could really handle herself, but she's compelling and interesting. You root for this character as soon as she like opens her eyes and explores the new human world and shit. It's interesting, and you, she's just so lovable and stuff. And yeah, I love Christoph Waltz. Christoph Waltz is also really great as this doctor. He has a great father relationship with Alita, and he's great too. I really enjoy Christoph Waltz. Um, Mahershala Ali is a great actor, and he gives a great performance, but his character is not very interesting. 
Same with Jennifer Connelly. She's a great actress, and she gives a very good performance, but her character isn't interesting. So luckily they had talented cast members, because the characters weren't very well written, but they were still good actors in the movie. Same with the kid, like the love interest of Alita. He's fine. Like, I didn't really buy the chemistry all that much, but he's, he's fine, I guess. Like, there's no character that I really hated. Actually, a character I really loved was, like, this cyborg bounty hunter who loves dogs. <laughs> he was great. I loved him. He had, like, all these, like, robot dogs and stuff. He was pretty awesome. And, yeah, just, like, the hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes and the scene when they play all the games and shit. Like, all that was really fucking cool. It was super cool. Uh, sadly, we don't actually get to see this, like, villain called Nova. I won't spoil who the actor who plays this, because he's pretty good, but... He's just this intimidating guy, and he's just, they're saving him for the sequel. So I hopefully he's an interesting villain, because they really built him up in this one, and I was a little disappointed that I didn't get to see more of him. I kind of wanted to see this villain and shit like that, so that was a little disappointing. And also, again, it's a very predictable movie, nothing mind-blowing and shit. Like, there's a lot of problems and flaws with this movie, and just, the story isn't, like, deep or profound or thought-provoking like a ghost in the shell or something like that, but it's a fun, entertaining film. It's not like a movie I love and adore, but it's a film, it's a good, fun, sci-fi action film. And if that's exactly what you want, that's exactly what you'll get. So yeah, I'm glad I saw it. Would I buy it? Maybe. I'd probably buy it. I thought James Cameron did a good job writing it. Robert Rodriguez's direction was really well done. I thought he did a very good job. So, good job, Mr. Rodriguez. Uh, so yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Alita Battle Angel a 7.4 out of 10. Definitely a good movie. Not amazing, but still very good. Definitely recommend it. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Alita Battle Angel. So in the comment section below, please tell me what is your favorite movie based off a of manga? Mine is Edge of Tomorrow. I actually didn't find the live action Ghost in the Shell. And yes, live action remake of a manga. A little harder. Yeah, Edge of Tomorrow. But yeah. So yeah, mine is Edge of Tomorrow. But what is yours? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.